Do you worship your phone or your television more than God? Okay, I think this is a great question for us to actually ask and to, to sit with for just a little bit as well. You know what? How much time do I spend on my phone every day doing frivolous stuff? Okay, how much time do I, do I spend an hour, two hours, do, maybe frivolous stuff, stuff that doesn't have really any value, okay? Or TV, how much time do I spend watching the TV? Do I love my TV? Have I prayed today? How much have time have I given to God in prayer, given to God in, in reading sacred scripture or reading a Catholic spiritual classic or really you know, growing in my faith, taking contemplative prayer, gone to mass, maybe daily mass, gone to adoration, prayed the stations of the cross, prayed the rosary, okay? What the, how much time have I given to God today or given to my spiritual life? What's really more important? Like when we, I think when we look at our lives and we go, okay, if we look at what do I spend my time on? What do I spend my money on? What do I spend my thoughts on? That really tells us what I'm worshiping in my life, right? What does my house look like, okay? What does my car look like? What is on my mind all the time? What do I, you know, this is huge. What do I spend my time and my money on? Like, what am I living for is basically the question that we can ask ourselves. Ourselves. And, and then is it, is it God? Am I really living for eternal life? Am I living for others? Am I pouring myself out in love? Or am I just living this life selfishly? And am I just looking out for number one? For me, am I just trying to get ahead? It's a very important question that I think that occasionally we need to go, whoa, stop, and, and think about. Now, if you would like to go deeper into your spiritual life, if you want to give more of yourself to God, here at Passionately Catholic, we are launching something just absolutely incredible that I am so excited about. There's a Catholic spiritual classic book called An Introduction to the Devout Life by St. Francis de Sales that he wrote over 400 years ago that we are walking through, and it's it's totally free. We're doing it on videos on Passionately Catholic. There are links uh, to this. You can get the book for free. Uh, look around in the description of this video for links where you can get access to St. Francis de Sales' Introduction to the Devout Life series that we're working through uh, and get the book for free. You can just read the book on your own if you want to. Or together on Passionately Catholic, we're working through the book. We're setting up a Facebook group together where we can talk and communicate about each of the videos and the ideas and, and what we're learning spiritually and questions that we might have so that we can help each other grow on this journey, but also videos where I'm going to be breaking down, walking through St. Francis de Sales' Introduction to the devout life, uh, where we're really, where he teaches us how to grow in virtue, how to fall in love with God. He teaches us how to pray, how to do Catholic meditation really, really well. And it's just, I remember the first time I got through this book, I remember thinking, you know what, if I actually did everything that this book says to do and took it slow and didn't rush through this book, I'd be a saint. I'd be a saint. This is a road to sanctification. It's just absolutely amazing. So I invite you to consider joining us in that. There'll be links down below in the description. Might be a card up here, okay, if I remember to get that put up there for you, um, that you can check out and, and be a part of this journey to really grow in your spiritual life. Because I think in Catholicism, we have great opportunities to grow intellectually, but I'm not sure that we have a lot or we take the time really to grow in our spiritual lives. And this is going to be powerful. So you're welcome to join us. I look forward to being in touch with you again very soon in our next video. Special thanks always goes out to all of our patrons, especially those on Patreon who make everything we do here at Passionately Catholic possible. God bless you.